Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing Recycle, which is today's daily challenge from Lone Star Defense 5. And um, yeah, this was kind of a hard one because I kind of screwed up in the beginning. As you can see, I already lost one life there. Um, not really necessary. If you place them better, then you should be fine. Anyway, starting off with six, seven now, well, will be eight dart monkeys because I'm doing everything symmetrical uh, except for the snipers because I will be using snipers so I didn't really read through all of the what's available what's not available so I'm kind of going with what I think will be might be useful and um, yeah there might be a much much more elegant solution out there so I'm going for a way too early uh, banana farm here yeah this wave should have been cleared pretty easily so upgrade some of the monkeys to um, one, uh, to zero three or one and three, whatever, uh, before you go to uh, to build those banana farms, because otherwise you will lose. As you can see, 88 lives there. Uh, that is quite a lot. And yeah, once you clear that wave, uh, you have plenty of time to build whatever you want. Make sure you have camo detection for wave 24. And after you've done that, pretty much standard stuff. So um, building more banana farms whenever you can. Also building more um, more towers whenever you can. Uh, I'm going for a bunch of just, just about everything that I could find. Um, I don't really know what's good. Uh, both of the cannons, by the way, are set to strong. Because they're supposed to pick up the, the lead balloons. That's the only reason they're there. I needed something to pick up the lead balloons and therefore it doesn't matter that they lose the ability to uh, pick off the black balloons and the, the zebra balloons so I am going to build AOE on everything because everything seemed to be AOE except for the snipers the, so the snipers are going to be used to pick off the moabs the rest is going to be used as AOE damage so I lost a lot of five lives in the process here six lives remaining and it is getting pretty close. So um, six lives is still enough to uh, to get this. By the way, if you want to make this easier on yourself, you can either go for the special tower on the dart monkeys, making you get an easier uh, start. You can also go for the uh, sniper t sniper special building. Although I do recommend the dart special building. But the snipers, yeah, they are your only uh, thing to well, they're your only tower basically to get uh, single target damage, uh, at least from what I found. I guess you can go with the, oh come on, what are they called, dartling gunners. If you go with the dartling gunners though, it is really hard to pick up your bananas as well from your banana farm. So yeah, that might suck, but yeah, you... Uh, if, if you can manage that, then the Dartling Gunners would be a good option as well. Assuming that they are upgradable to... Was that 3 and 0? 3 and 2? 3 and 2, I guess. Yeah, if you can get them to 3 and 2, they would be useful. Anyhow, um, yeah, just progressing on, uh, building more towers, not really a big deal. Um, getting more and more snipers, also getting some extra cannons out. Because what I want here is to have so much AOE damage on that end part of the track that I am sure that none of the Moab, uh, well, balloons that they spawn will ever get through. Because the advantage of AOE damage is of course that it doesn't matter how big the clump of balloons is. Uh, if you have true AOE damage, anything will die. Except of course for uh, camo balloons and um, uh, yeah, big balloons. But that is why you have the other balloons. So anyway, um, more, uh, the BFB then, it gets picked off by my four snipers as well as, uh, well, everything else that's there. I couldn't really do anything about that. So yeah, I had to uh, kind of rely on what I had. Um, yeah, I didn't. Ha I could have sold my banana farms, I guess. But I was like, well, at six lives, if anything goes wrong, I'm screwed anyway. So um, all of these Moabs should be picked off pretty easily. And I do have two fully upgraded uh, Boomerang Monkeys now. The boomerang Monkeys at 4 and 2 are the best uh, single target damage as well as AoE tower in the game. It's just that, well, getting them 
costs you 9000 and that is pretty expensive. So for the rest, pretty easy playthrough. Once you figure out, well, what to get, but yeah, you can also just read what you have available and decide from there. But um, yeah, good luck on this one. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG.